slice of a stony meteorite is out of this world. All right, so we're here with Mr. Rich Hagers, and he's the one that's got all the fossils and the dinosaur bone and everything like that for everybody who's interested in lapidary and who's just interested in fossils. So let's walk around the table, see what he's got, and let me see some of the things he likes to show off the most. Sure. Our favorite fossil that you got here. I, you know what, everybody knows and appreciates a giant cave bear. This is uh, just, uh, they came out of Romania about 30 years ago, and the only way you get these nowadays is that old collections. Uh, this would make a, a modern bear look small. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm very That's fond. A huge mouth, too. Yeah, look at that thing. thing. And, and uh, yeah. The and the molars? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Lord. You come across that thing and you might die of fright before it gets a hold of you. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you probably could. Um, and of course, you know, like anything, uh, mastodon, mammoth, uh, megalodon. Of course, I love the, uh, we sell a lot of these giant uh, megalodon jaws wow. to, to museums. That's awesome. Um, and uh, of course, uh, you name it, a little yep. bit of everything here. Yep. yep. Well, and uh, so when we're looking at these, I kind of noticed these. What are these exactly? That is a pelvis, a right and left pelvis of a, of a mammoth, uh, same animal, kind of artistic. Uh, just the pelvis? Just the pelvis, yep. And it's a small uh, small female, young female. Really? Yeah. So like teenager or younger than yeah, that? Yeah, a little bit younger, yeah. yeah. That would have been a huge, huge animal. No wonder they call them mammoths. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got the teeth here. I noticed this, we've gotten some teeth from you before. Sure. Sure. And I, we always, when we get anything fossil related, mm -hmm. we get it from you, so. Well, I appreciate that. And uh, tell them about what you just oh, told yeah. me earlier. I, uh, I just picked up Dr. Stinchcomb's uh, fossil collection. Um, I've been friends with him uh, since college, and uh, it was, he died, uh, his daughter contacted me. Uh, he wrote nine books on fossils, and a lot of the fossils here are actually featured in the books. Oh, okay. So, uh, a lot of your fossils? A lot of his fossils, and, oh, okay. and some yeah. of mine, but uh, mostly his. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you got his collection? I did. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so that's, that's very that's, impressive. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. That's really impressive. Yeah. And then, uh, what, would, what is this? Pine cone? Oh, a fossilized pine cone? Uh, I've um, never heard of that. Yeah, that's super rare. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. That is, that is actually really cool. Mm -hmm. How much would you sell something like that, that for? I think it's 1800 at price right there on the side. You know what? That's not unreasonable. Yeah, well, I, they, I haven't seen those in years and years. That's out of an old collection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do we got here? That's a Zyphacnus out of Kansas. It's a giant uh, predatory fish. Uh, really? That's just the head and a few of the fish. All the way in Kansas? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Used to be an uh, inland sea a long time ago. An inland sea? No, shallow ocean. Sh yeah. Shallow sea. Mm-hmm. And a bison, I just got that from a gold miner uh, uh, about a month ago um, out of Alaska. Bison crispus, extinct species okay. of, of giant, uh, giant buffalo. How, how large did they get you think? They, the, the sheets would come over here and this would, this would probably extend out to about here. Wow. Um, and that's just the bone inside the, the sheet. Wow. Yeah. So huge. Oh, huge. huge. It'd make, yeah, it'd make a, a modern uh, modern buffalo look pretty darn small. Yeah. Yeah. Almost nice, wimpy. Nice uh, uh, mammoth tusk, Alaska. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole tusk right there? A female, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's a small female as well? It is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's just from a small female. Oh, they get huge. They get, yeah, they get gigantic. Biggest of dinner plates. I mean. You know, you read them in books, but you never realize the size of these things. Oh, it's massive, massive. We just sold a giant foot of a of a mammoth here yesterday. Uh, really? Foot was, was like this. Just a foot. Just a foot. Yeah. The bones in the foot. Mm. Croc, croc <laughs> from uh, Morocco. Lower jaws. So this is a crocodile. Yep. Yep. That's just the lower jaw. Uh, lowers here, and this is the upper. Skull. Okay, I was about to say. You got the verts on it there. Uh -huh. How large do you think that crop got? Uh, I would say that guy was probably, uh, uh, I've seen bigger, this one's long. I, I'm gonna say maybe 15 feet. That's a huge crop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we say 15 feet, that's big. Yeah, you don't, you don't want any kind of that. It, it always <laughs> astonishes me how big these animals get. Oh, you sure. Uh -huh. It's astonishing. Just, now, what is that? That, no, that's that's a, uh, that's a um, hippo? hippo and this is a giraffe. That's a giraffe dog. Yeah, right here. Uh, skull. A giraffe skull, sorry. Yeah. No, you're fine. That is, that is 
<laughs> I've never thought of it looking like that. With the horns, and it's carved with two giraffes, kind of like a heart shape, eating a tree on the front. You can. Oh, we'll see. definitely get a view of that. Yeah. And then you said the one right there is uh, a hippopotamus. Yeah. 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 It kills more more people than all the other cats combined in that. Really? Yeah. They're uh, they're uh, very very predatorial. Oh yeah. They'll, they'll, they kill you because you're a threat, and then uh, um, not eat you. So, yeah. Just leave it in. Yeah. You're between the hippo and the water, and you can be two miles from the river. So if you're here and the hippo is going in the water, and but yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah. This is a yeah.
slice of a stony meteorite it's out of this world. That's iron nickel, and then these are little stony uh, chondrules, they call them, and they're always floating around in zero grab, so there's a bunch of perfectly round spheres of molten um, iron that, that congealed and cooled. So, and this is really cool too because in the lapidary world meteorite is like the thing if you can get some meteorite you do a pretty good for yourself and the fact that he's got it at such a reasonable price mm -hmm. already slabbed up at that price you ain't gonna beat it I don't see where you're gonna beat it mm -hmm. okay well hey we have a mosasaur that are really interesting I believe the guy who did alien understood the anatomy of a mosasaur they have an inner jaw to grab its food kind of like the movie alien they had a hinge lower jaw, uh, so hyperextend like a snake, and they also had a sensor on the top of their head they could see uh, daylight, so almost like a third eye. So yeah, straight out of the uh, inner uh, sci-fi movies. Yeah, it's, I yeah. mean it sounds like an alien, no way. It, it, real, it really does. <laughs> it, interesting, interesting fossil. And those teeth are something else. Yeah. Once I saw this, I'm like, oh yeah, we got to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, we, we set that on a, a big piece of walnut uh, for my property. Yeah. yeah. Now, if anything like this uh, interests you, we're going to leave the contact information below at the bottom. They're very reliable people, very honest people. This is the place you want to get your stuff from. Be sure yeah. to look at that contact information, I get know. you something you like. Now, I will let you know that they do not mail, but if you're near a gym show, tell them, hey, I'm going to be near this gym show. I would like to pick up this, and they'll bring it, and then you can do your transaction there. And we've known we've been known to make exceptions. So yeah. Known to make exceptions. Uh, but bigger ticket items, we might even deliver. But depends. Big ticket. Depends. <laughs> okay. And then also, they're they're wonderful people to talk to. So even if you're not, maybe stop by the booth, talk with them a little bit. Who knows? You might find something you like. Yeah. But make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.